going to be sharing a very, very simple recipe with you guys for mac and cheese, but not the regular way. I'm going to make it with a twist. I'm going to add something to it and we're going to make it into a bake mac and cheese. So we're in for, it's not in big and surprising, it's something simple we're gonna take and turn it into a very, very delicious meal. So guys, for the macaroni and cheese, I'm using Kraft and I'm using one that says extra creamy and an original. You can use any kind of your choice. This can also be made with plain macaroni and you can add all your cheeses and, and ingredients after but i just want to share something as simple as this my kids never used to like macaroni and cheese because um if i'm really really busy one day and i give them macaroni and cheese like i have no other solution for a school lunch and i would make macaroni and cheese quickly in the morning pack it in their lunch and give it to them by the time they reach the school and it gets cold i don't know if you guys know but the taste is horrible and they never want to eat macaroni and cheese so if you guys ever had that experience once in a while i will make macaroni and cheese um in the oven for them and this i want to shout out to my sister for sharing this recipe because her kids are older than mine and she had this experience so she shared her recipe with me for um baked macaroni and you you put a little bit of seasoning and make it uh, extra special so i want to shout out to my sister if you're watching thank you so much for sharing this um recipe with me and i am gonna share it with all our viewers and subscribers today. So hope you guys find this interesting. So I just have the two packs of craft and what I'm gonna do, I have my water warming up in the stove. So I just put a little bit, but a half a teaspoon of salt inside and I'm gonna put these inside and cook them until they're nice and soft. So guys, the water is hot and I, um, I'm taking out the cheese that comes in the pack and I'm just gonna put them in like that the two packs because I will um now that the kids like it this way I have to make extra so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna quickly give this a stir and I'm gonna let it cook I'll show you guys at what what when I'm taking it off what um texture and this takes no time at all if you're doing this for a um a dinner it's it takes no time so we're actually doing it for dinner today with some chicken and some potato salad so i'm gonna show you guys the whole step i know it's simple but it's something very very nice once in a while so while the macaroni is cooking i'm gonna start preparing my little ingredients that i'm adding to it i like to add some green onion because this have a plain color so I like to put a few different colors to make it nice and enticing for the eye. So I'm just cutting two headless green onion in here. And this is, um, I'm cutting it nice and fine because it's gonna add some green to the macaroni and cheese. And I'm, I also grated one carrot because that's gonna add an, an, another nice color. So we're not looking at plain um, macaroni and cheese and it also add a little bit of flavor that the carrot add a little bit of sweetness to balance off all the cheese so here i have my one carrot that i grated and i'm gonna along with these two packs of cheese i'm gonna grate about a cup and a half more of regular cheese and i already have that ready here so i have my grated cheese here to give it some extra cheesy goodness Mm. right jessica yeah so we're gonna check this now and this is done the way it's looking i can tell it's done so i'm gonna turn the stove off and i'll drain it guys i strained the pasta and i just added in the bowl that i have that i'm gonna cook it in and this have the green onions and what i like to do when i'm straining it i leave a little bit of the water so this will, will we're gonna cook it nice and moist instead of um dry i find when you leave a little bit of water it works perfectly well so in here i have one egg that i'm gonna be adding to this you can add two if you want but one is good enough 
So I'm just gonna beat this up a little. And I'm gonna add one cup of milk and your regular milk that you have for tea. So I, I think I'm using 2%. So this here, this is a half cup of measure. I'm gonna put another one and this is gonna add a extra richness to this macaroni and cheese. It's gonna help to bind it up and help it to, to, um, to be very rich and creamy. So along with the egg, it's gonna bind it and you're gonna get to cut it nicely how you want it. So I'm mixing in the milk and the egg so I can get to put it all over into the macaroni. So I'm putting it here all over like that. And if you look at it, you can see that it is nice and look moist and everything. So let us add our cheese. So I'm gonna open those packs of Ooh, cheese. Oh, that is so um, cheesy. Mm -hmm. And then you wanna do this when it's hot. So you can, um, the cheese can get to dissolve. And because if you do it when it's cold, it's gonna be clumpy and it's gonna form long but it doesn't matter because when you put it in the oven all of the cheese will get melted and because the pasta is already cooked you do not have to leave it for a long time just so it can um can I form, try mixing? Up, form up together yeah you can try mixing let me hold the camera take your time so this looks so good and yeah. satisfying we just want to mix in that cheese oops sorry and then I'm gonna add. Are you Look satisfied at this. now? Yeah. Okay. So I wanna add here now some um, carrots. So I'm gonna add the carrots, and this is gonna give some color and add some sweetness. And then, and we're making it, giving it a little bit of a twist for the macaroni and cheese. We don't wanna have a plain old boring macaroni and cheese we just want to dress it up and if you like to add any of your spices or seasoning go right ahead and try it guys explore a little bit your ingredients you will love the results you get and we have here i have half of a small onion and i'm gonna just grate it on top because i find this onion bring out such an amazing flavor into this um ma baked macaroni and cheese and you won't want to stop eating once you add some onions if you don't like onion please feel free to leave it out if there's chunks you can also leave the chunks because that will cook nicely into the macaroni bake nicely with the macaroni so i'm just gonna grate this and then i'll come back and show you guys the next step add some extra cheese and i have here about a cup and a half of cheese and this is gonna give some extra cheesiness to this you know what before i add all my cheese let me add some pepper and Yay. what we like to do is add a little bit of pepper sauce about a teaspoon of pepper sauce but guys if your kids are small please leave this out my kids are a little bit bigger now and they can handle some of the um, spiciness and they like when I put it so we're gonna just add about one teaspoon of your homemade pepper sauce or hot sauce whatever you have I'm adding just I think I want to add two and guys this is the batch that we made for our video yeah so I'm gonna add two and this is gonna give an amazing kick to this macaroni and cheese baked macaroni and cheese so I'm just gonna mix that in and you don't you won't even know that that there is a lot like pepper in here it's gonna have a nice kick but it's not overpowering so that makes it nice and look at the color Jess it's starting to look beautiful right because yeah. that yellow cheese is going all over and guys I'm gonna add the extra cheese and what I like to do is add it I'm just gonna mix this well I'm just um, gonna add it on top of the macaroni and then when you're when you're cooking it that's gonna brung up and look very nice when you take it out so I'm gonna just smooth this off and then we will add the rest of the cheese so i add an extra cup and a half cheese on the top i put some of it inside you can put more if you like but 
this is good enough for us so i'm gonna put this in i have a chicken in the oven the chicken is done i'm gonna pop this in my 350 degree oven for just maybe 20 25 minutes just so it can form up a little and you can cut it and then it will be ready guys so guys here is my chicken the chicken is done i took it out of the oven and i put the macaroni and cheese and i'm gonna cut this up for our dinner tonight I believe I already did a recipe for this chicken on my channel, but I will walk, I'll show you guys what we're having for dinner tonight. So guys, tonight I want to do another shout out. I want to shout out to one of my very good friends. It's my son's godmother and a subscriber and viewer on my channel. She is very, very creative and she have, um, she sells very beautiful, one-of-a-kind um, birthday cards, anniversary, Christmas card. You name them, she can make them. And she only make one-of-a-kind. You will never get two of the same ones. Uh, you, this is where you can find her site for the card. You can buy this card online, anywhere, any country. Um, her shop is called um, Crafty and Creative. And you can also find her on Facebook as hand made by Marlin and trust me guys that all the cards that we get from her we, we always save them because they're so beautiful you can't find any of those in any other store so please remember to check her out if you're looking for any cards of on any occasion check out her um her site and her shop there's more than one shop but please remember to look for craft crafty and creative and please support her she does amazing work so here is that beautiful baked macaroni and cheese it is sizzling i don't know if you guys can hear it but it's nicely done it's very colorful i'm gonna let it cool out so this is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight guys i only showed a recipe for the mac and cheese because i already did a video for this beautiful delicious well flavored chicken and I have some potato salad and we're going to have this for our dinner. I'm just going to play it and let you guys know how this tastes. So guys, here is that beautiful dinner that I just prepared. And this is the macro baked macaroni and cheese. I don't like to leave it in long for it to get too dry. So it's really, really nice and moist. So this is the star of the, the dish today. I also have here some potato salad that I made. And I did have a piece of baked chicken. I like the wings. So this is my favorite part. But I want to dive into the potato salad so you guys can, can see. And it's nice and moist and full with flavor. Remember that pepper sauce that I add into here? Look how moist that is. And it is full of flavor with the onion and everything. So to all my viewers and all my subscribers, I know it's a very, very simple recipe, but if you twist it up and change it up a little, you can get it, you can personalize it to make it the best you like it. So I'm gonna taste for all of you guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, on top of it, is a beautiful crust and in the inside it's really nice and soft and i get a hint of the pepper the pepper sauce that i put in there and i can taste some of that onion and the eggs is holding everything together it's so comforting so nice on a friday night when you're tired and you don't know what to prepare for dinner this is such a beautiful beautiful dish so here I have the rest of the stuff. These weren't the recipe today, but potato salad is always my favorite to go with a nice piece of uh, baked chicken or roasted chicken. And I'm gonna take a bite for you guys. And so let me take another bite, guys. Mm, so full of flavor. Guys, just want to tell you this is actually very delicious and we made this potato salad in another video and we also made that chicken mommy thank you so much for making this for us i'm glad that you like it mm -hmm. so guys you heard from jessica they like it matthew did you like it yeah how about you natalie it's so flavorful and tasty good 
So see, my family love it this way. If I have to make it just like that out of the box, boil it on the stove, they won't eat it like that. So hope you guys give this a try. It's so simple, so easy. Until then, you guys have a very, very good blessed night. All those who are not feeling well, I pray that you feel better. And see you guys for my next video. Bye for now.